What's going on, guys? It's Gintama Episode 3, the real start to the show, kind of, because the first two episodes were an anime original introduction, and now this is where we really get into it. So I wanted to watch those first two episodes just for the hell of it, to say that I watched them, to see what they were like, and they've really just gotten me intrigued by the world and the characters, this world overrun by aliens where all this wacky, ridiculous comedy can happen, which makes me excited to get into, like, the legit stuff. I assume this is chapter one of the manga, you know, where everything really starts. It's called Nobody with Naturally Wavy Hair Can Be That Bad, and I agree. Anyway, um, yeah, let's just get into it. If you want to get these videos a week early, check out the Patreon link down below, but here we go. Three, two, one, play. So I don't know if they're just going to, like, reintroduce everybody. Okay, so we're starting with... So yeah, it's going to be more gradual, rather than just, like, everybody's there. It's going to be like the real introduction, where we meet some of these characters over time. So we're going to see Gin, uh, Gintoki and Shinpachi meeting. Cool. That's good. Also, in some cases I may not reveal information like this, but since we're watching Gintama, being the kind of series that it is, I think it's appropriate for me to mention the fact that I'm not wearing any pants right now. I'm just throwing it out there. I'm letting you know. I'm just being honest. So you understand where I'm coming from as a person in this moment. Anyway... So, the show, it's happening. Uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to, to getting into what's what we're going to get. We're probably going to get a lot of episodic stuff for a while. I don't know when exactly the first, like, serious arc is. But I, I feel like it's not for a while. And that's fine. There's a lot of episodes of the show, and I'm sure a lot of them are just goofy comedy stuff. But uh, we'll see. And there's that one fucking dude with a racket. <laughs> Is it bad that that's, like, the thing that I want to know about the most? <laughs> I want to know what... What makes him use that as a weapon in the Shinsengumi? I like the dog. He's cute. So here we go. Last week's special is over with. And Gin and Shinpachi's first meeting will be this time. Now you gotta wield that shit. Of course. This would be Shinpachi and his sister as children. Yeah. Instilled the samurai spirit deep in them. He's pretty old for having such young kids. Maybe he's just real sick. Yeah, aliens were already here at this point. But... Mm-hmm. Of all kinds. Dogmen. It's like the same shot from episode one. Cheetah men? Leopard? Now we've got Shinpachi older, and he's a cashier. Uh, poor guy. Samurai in his heart, but he has to be a cashier. Wow, okay. Uh, workplace violence, A-OK. -okay. So you see why he would be attracted to Gintoki and Odd, job, odd Jobs Gin as a place to work. As somebody who will freely wield a sword. I'd like to see what kind of wacky designs we'll get. If they'll all be kind of like this. Animal people, like robots. or just You can go all out with weird designs. So Samurai would fight at first, but uh, not anymore. That died down. But Gin is over there. So yeah, Amanto are just what the general term for aliens. Samurai went away. No swords. 
I mean, I'm sure it changed everything. Hell yeah. I mean, if it's a wooden sword, does it count? It's not a sword. It's, I mean, technically it is, but like... You can make an argument one way or the other. Yeah, you spilled his sweets, man. It's unforgivable. If you spilled my sweets or my chicken McNuggets, I'd be real mad. But what does he know? <laughs> oh, only one a week? Torture. Again, relatable. That's cool, like between a samurai and a thug. More focused like a samurai, but a little more wild and fierce than you'd expect. Denny's? Like the... the like the real restaurant? No, it wasn't him. Is that a planet? Chatoran? Like, cheetah, kinda? And he was an ambassador, so it wasn't just some random... Well, he drove. He does have it on him with blood, so I can't really blame them too much here. Why did you do that? <laughs> Why did... I guess he just, like, instinctively was like, Ah, oh, the sword. Can't let it just lay there. Whoa, he got away! He gets cranky without sugar. Yeah, I know. That's going real slow. You got away, though. That's kind of impressive. Wow. The manager, I mean, he punched the manager in the face. Wouldn't the manager want revenge on him? What? <laughs> you didn't like that job anyway. Make YouTube videos. Give it a shot. It's not, uh, glamorous. Is this his sister? Yes. Otai? Otay? Otai? Is he supposed to be working at all times? Goddamn. If you need to support your sister as well, in addition to yourself, then yeah, I understand the need for a job. That you hate. <laughs> he just leaves. <laughs> not just a soap opera, a rerun. It's not a good excuse. But she's coming too. Now she's taking you here and she beat the shit out of him. Understood. When sorry is not enough, kill yourself. Yeah, uh, it kind of has. I mean, yeah, they like they can't have any. There, there's nothing. There's no income coming in for this place. I understand the anger. Jesus. I'm a odd jobs man. 
go get them some clients, some students. Maybe you can be one. I'm sure you don't have money, though, to pay them. You're trying to make money. Yeah, they're like, we don't need to hire you. You're causing the problem. That's not... Not with that attitude, they won't. No. Wow, what did he, what did he do for you? It's an interesting attitude to have. What the hell? Hi. I mean, of course, I mean, you already heard their story about the dojo. Of course they'd... Being in debt wouldn't be a surprise, but it's from their father. It's one of his reasons for not uh, respecting him as much, I guess. Everybody wants to see this soap opera. I mean, if this is a legitimate debt that their father had... I don't know the details, but... That's bad of their father, and this guy doesn't have the, uh, isn't in the wrong. <laughs> what? It's true. You guys can be the students. Oh, well, no. When you go there, you're no. Uh, uh, you've lost me at that point. High leg, shabu, shabu, heaven? I mean, if it's not like straight up prostitution or something, well, that's better. It's not as bad as I was thinking. Cool. I don't know what shabu shabu means, so... Not good that her sister, his sister is essentially going to be sold in the Shabu Shabu Slavery. A debt is a debt. Their father maybe messed up. I don't know the details. But, uh, it's no good. It's a bad time. But of course she's gonna go do it. Yeah. That's true. Like, whether you're struggling to try to hang on to something that you know will never return, that's hard. Or having to give up on it is hard, too. So she's like, well... She's sticking with it. She's gonna try to protect the dojo. She's gonna do this. And I don't know if he fully understands that choice. Yeah. He doesn't have as much admiration for the guy. She probably knows some stuff that he doesn't. Oh my god, Gintoki is so relatable. <laughs> Every time an anime character calls somebody baldy, I'm always like, what? What? I mean, they're not bald. It's just a thing they do in Japan. It's just an insult over there. And he's like, was your dad bald? <laughs> and again, cake. Is that like a strawberry shortcake or something? 
I had that recently. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, just, they value the principles more than the, like, practicality. And he doesn't fully understand that yet. I'm sure things will change by the end of this. And, even though he, he feels that way, he can't help but, of course want deep down to do something he just doesn't think he can that's the real question that's what matters here do you love your sister then go get her back this is a good first meeting between the two See what uh, got them together. Going to save his sister. But not going over the speed limit. But also no helmet. It'll hurt if you crash. So he said there are no laws. So is there no actual speed limit? He just doesn't want to go too fast. Just in danger. It would hurt. There's no road laws though? Like, what? Because, like, all the different alien species just function differently. You can't regulate them. Uh, you missed it. You didn't go fast enough. This man's nose is bleeding. That smile seems to suggest so. Otai. Oh, okay. I've never had cleavage before in my life. Oh, shit. She's uh, not quite cooperative. I don't know if you even want to go to the trouble of trying to have her here. Just because we're on prime time. Not not good. Not cool. What's happening? It's the cops. Did they steal the cop car? I'm assuming he stole the cop car. Monkeys! They're wearing the fucking things too. Yeah, they are. <laughs> now you should have played it up. And like, we were undercover this whole time. You're busted. Yeah, hey, what are they going to do? For now, this is just what matters. I don't want to think. It doesn't. Not, don't have to think about that. Sisters, what's important here? Guns, though. Um. Interesting they all have guns. I wonder what kind of alien weapons there are. Guns are no match for the wooden sword. Apparently... Mm 
<laughs> the soul of a a samurai. He he's here. You took out all those guys with guns. You can't take out these guys. Shut the place down. Or steal all their money. We'll see. Oh, he's got a nosebleed too. I don't think so. Oh, shit. You can have him. Yep, again, priorities. Maybe you can't save everything in the world, but if there's something right there, personally, in front of you, you can do it. Pretty good climbing technique. They're not even officially clients, I don't think. God damn, dude, a wooden fucking sword. Are you sure you're not from the Yato clan, the powerful warrior race? You just took a wooden sword and smacked it and just. Of course, he destroyed the thing in the filler episode two. Episode two. Safe. Water saves the day. So what now? Obviously he joins up with him. I should get a reward, man. I stole a police car, though. She understands. About the dojo itself, about those guys that they owe the debt to, I don't know. After that, they might lay off. What a world where you can steal a police car and the cop just kind of like... Wags his finger at you and is like, mm, it's bad. He seems like he could probably just walk away. <laughs> like, he wants a reward. And they're like, no, you stole a police car. Like, I think it's a much more serious situation than that. I'm surprised they didn't just try to arrest him immediately. But uh, there's no road laws here. It's a crazy place. So uh, that is episode three, the real start. So let's go ahead and have a discussion. All right, episode three of Gintama. This is the real start of the show now, now that we got those two anime original episodes out of the way. And it starts with Gintoki meeting Shinpachi. So I don't know if he's running odd jobs Gin by himself, if he's already met Kagura and we just haven't met her yet. He's gonna meet these characters one by one, but either way, whether he's met all these other people or not, we're gonna get introduced to them a little more slowly this time. Rather than all at once, we're going to get Kagura maybe next time. I think I saw her in the, the thumbnail for the next episode. And then 
a little bit over time learn more about this stuff like the Shinsengumi, the Ninja Girl, and whatever. And a lot of this is, well not a lot, but some of it is a bit of a reintroduction like to Gintoki and Shinpachi or to the world and the Amanto and everything. But for the most part, this is just the story of how they met. Can you hear that thunder out there? That is really loud. Is that even thunder? That's insane. Anyway, um, <laughs> and how they have to save his sister from these aliens. And uh, I'd say it was better than the first two, just because it is this this clear, meaningful arc between these main characters. And we just get to see more about Shinpachi and his sister's past, and the connection between Shinpachi and Gintoki that forms here that makes him want to work for Gintoki. And Gintoki's still awesome, he's very relatable, just like, ah. Eh. Gotta go home and catch this TV show. Gotta eat sweets. Can't go too long without eating sweets. And he's like, oh, I need sweets, so I'm just gonna make this entire cake right now. He's like, you could just have something easier. Got high blood sugar, can only have one parfait a week. Ridiculous. He comments when uh, Shinpachi calls, I think it was his dad, Baldy, which is just such a common insult in anime, and uh, I've never understood it. And it's just a Japanese thing. They call people Baldy. They call them bald when they're not bald. And Gintoki comments on it. He's like, was your father bald? I was like, oh, thank you. Somebody finally comments on that. But uh, yeah, with Shinpachi and his sister and their father. Their father was a very proud man. Because like the Amanto, the aliens came in and samurai and swordsmanship just slowly went away. At first, they would fight against samurai. Samurai would still be active, but just slowly over time, just nothing anymore. And their father ran a dojo, and they went to shit because there were no students, nothing to do there, nothing to earn money. But their father was proud and stuck to his samurai principles and upheld his honor and was just a seemingly very stubborn man. Till the end, we don't really know a lot of the specific details about all the, his debt and everything, but he died in debt. And uh, his sister, Shinpachi's sister, is just like their father where she is proud to protect the do dojo and just wants to protect it just because it's what her father her parents cherished so she wants to uphold that as well she just has the same principles that he does whereas shinpachi wants to live more practically rather than just being like well i know that that's like you say that that's you know you're, you're doing this because of honor or because of the the samurai soul finding the sword within your soul but like it's just not the smart way to live there's some crazy thunder. Can you see the lights flickering? Like, this is insane. Um, but anyway, there is a debate to be had there about, like, you, you need to live smart and make money to live, you and your loved ones. And he's even working a shitty cashier job despite being a samurai, being a swordsman, but also, like, upholding your, your honor and your beliefs and living the way that you want to. And... It, a lot of it, I think, really depends on, like, who you are living for and providing for. Like, if it's just you, then yeah, you know, you can take some risks. Maybe not do something you don't want to do just for money. But if it's somebody like Shinpachi who's trying to help out with his sister, or a father who has two children, in that case, you know, maybe you do... You, you want to prioritize money for their sakes, or you may think instilling these values in them is more important and, and making them better people because of it. it it's a debate to be had but they they can't pay this debt that they have like these guys these aliens you know their father he did leave debt he took debt and he left it so these guys like are coming to, to to take what's owed to them so we can't blame them there but they're clearly sleazy shitty alien dudes want to take his sister to go be in this nightclub that they're running illegally up in the sky well i don't know if it's technically illegal up there i mean i guess it is because like you can't have them in edo but he says up in the sky it's fine i don't think it's technically legal up there because that's like other territory i think it's just they don't get caught up there i'm not sure because like the police come and he's like shit they're on to us so it seems like they're still illegal up there but like the police cars can fly as we see so why did he think they wouldn't get caught up there i don't know but like they're you know, some shitty dudes, and we can assume just, like, the bad situation that their father was in, I'm sure. It wasn't all, like, completely fair dealings with these guys, of course, with the aliens coming in, the Amanto, and samurais being driven into the position that they were. Things weren't exactly uh, easy for him, and we can just assume these guys are just bad. But yeah, Gintoki motivates Shinpachi 
to protect what he really cares about and sort out his priorities. Like, you can't just save everything all the time. Like, they say, oh, the sky, the country is ours. And he's like, I don't really care about any of that. Like, this is my client, or in this case, sort of, a friend, a sister, somebody who happens to be right in front of you, a complete stranger. It's, it's somebody on a personal level that I can do something about and that I can help. And that's what matters. And he gets Shinpachi to realize what matters. Like, what's the important question? Do you love your sister? The answer is yes. Go save her. I know that you might want to just not take such a risk, live the smart life, go try to make money normally, and not go invade this nightclub, but if you love your sister, so you, you take action and you go do it. What's going to happen with the dojo from here? I don't know if we're going to get a lot of focus on that, like, because he's going off with Gin now and... They're not exactly money-making machines. I don't know what his sister's really doing. Probably not too much. I don't know if we're going to get a lot of focus on that. I don't know if these aliens, after dealing with that and having their nightclub crashed by these crazy people, if they're just going to leave them alone now, I, I would assume. Probably. There are no road laws. Interesting little tidbit. But he doesn't want to go too fast, just in case. Because crashing still hurts. But he's not wearing a helmet, though. It's a compromise. Just wear a helmet, then you can go faster, and then you can get places faster. He does ride that thing really slow a lot of the time. But yeah, some funny little bits like that. Uh, it's mostly just establishing the relationship with Kentoki and Shinpachi and Shinpachi's little arc here, and uh, it's pretty nice. And I really liked Otai's line when she was talking about something that you can never get back. Whether you decide to keep it or get rid of it, it's painful either way. If you try to hang on to something that you know is just hopeless, well, that's, that's really tough. But if you have to give that up and just throw it away entirely, too, that's it's also not easy. And she was like, well, if both choices are hard, if it's going to be painful either way, then I would rather, like, stick to my guns, stick to my principles, go, like, do this thing trying to protect what I care about. If it's going to be painful either way, then we're going to go with the painful option that also, like, upholds what I believe in. And that was cool. I'm curious what the show's going to be like when we get into more serious arcs, like how much balance will be between comedy and serious. I know most of the episodes, at least I'm thinking, will be like episodic comedy stuff, and I don't know how it's going to change. I don't know what the structure of the whole show is going to be like. I have no idea going forward. I just got to go episode by episode here. But uh, for now, you know, with the action, you just kind of got goofy stuff, like a bunch of dudes with guns, and he's got a wooden sword, and he just like, bip, bip, and he got him. Took them all out, just like still frames. Eh, it's fine. Or the fact that he can just climb the giant engine core thing of the nightclub and just whack it with a wooden sword and that takes the whole thing down. It's like, isn't Kagura the one with, like, super strength? I'm like, my god, he's pretty damn good. I don't know how seriously I'm supposed to take that because it's, like, really lighthearted and comedic and goofy. But, um, yeah, that is uh, the first, like, real episode of Gintama. So uh, let me know what you think of it, about everything we have with the few main characters. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, share, all that great stuff. It really means a whole lot. If you want these videos a week early, check out the Patreon in the description below. Thank you guys. That's all I got for now. And uh, I'll see you next time.